Hi foodies and welcome back to my channel. Of course today is Tuesday, one I'm looking forward to and not looking forward to. is the last part of the Spice and Tice Curry Challenge. And this one is the Color Rhino Reaper. Now I have all my things prepped. So what you need is chicken breasts, onions, chopped tomatoes, garlic, ginger, tomato puree, salt, sugar, lemon juice, oil, and fresh coriander leaves. No, I don't have fresh, but I do have dried, so I'm going to have to use that. So, ingredients, Carolina Reaper chili, 20%. Now, the, the whole pack, if you're in Ireland, and you're shipping from the UK will cost you, including post and package, 20 euro and some cents. Now I know in England, I think it's 12 euro or something, should I say 12 pounds something, um, which proves post and packing. Um, do I think they're worth it? They are, um, in my opinion. They're really nice. Um, well, I don't know about this one, but the other two I had, the um, Fal and the Vindaloo, they were really, really nice. So I'm hoping this isn't going to be mind-blowing. As I said, I hope it's not going to be mind-blowing with no flavour. Because if we're going to eat something hot, we still want the flavour. So, yeah, my phone flipped off its tripod, so I'm a different angle, I would. So, let's get started, let's get cracking, let's get cooking. So, we're on my pan, you can see I've got some onion that I've sliced, I roughly sliced, in some olive oil. Now that's my preference in oils, I just prefer cooking with olive oil. So the thing we're going to do, and I'm going to show you all the process because a lot of people have been saying that they like seeing it from start to finish. So I'm just going to brown these onions off. Now I have two onions here. And yeah, I'm using the brown onions instead of the red ones, or purple ones, whatever you want to call them. I think they're they look purple. Because they're, um, the red onions are sweeter. So, we're just going to let that brown off there. Obviously, my pan isn't up to heat. My bad. I can do this in a frying pan. I'm doing it in a pan because it's the one I have a lid for. So we're going to let that brown off. I hope you're liking the content. Now as soon as the weather starts getting nice, which today is not, it's raining as usual. But when it does start going, getting nice, nicer weather, We'll do out and abouts. Me and Mario. And we'll go to cafes and stuff and try their offerings. I know a lot of people go to Dublin. 
we almost come to cork as well. I know Dublin is a capital, but like, there's more than just Dublin. No offence to people that live in Dublin or are Dubliners. I think you're fabulous. But there's a whole island to explore. And of course, I'm kind of biased because I live in in Cork. So we're going to let them brown off. They're getting soft now. So we want to turn this heat down a little bit. I'd like to welcome any new subscribers and any new viewers. I'm not an expert in cooking. I just try my best. Try new recipes out. In fact, I actually bought um, a recipe book from what I call the second hand shop. Some people call it a thrift shop. Um, I think I paid 50 cents, no euro, it was actually euro, which I think was very good. I'll show you the book at the end of the, vi the video, and maybe you'd like me to try some recipes from that. The book now is from the 1970s. So it may have been thing. There may be things in that that you ate when you were growing up that your mum or grandma or dad or grandfather, auntie, uncle cooked for you. I will show you the book at the end of the the video, and if you want me to um, do any recipes from it. Then just leave that in the comment box. Now these um, onions are nicely sweating down. I don't want them to burn. So we'll give them a couple of more minutes. And then we'll be adding our ginger and our garlic. Now the ginger you need roughly one inch and then just chopped up and for the garlic three cloves and crushed so we'll let some colour go onto that now I have got some rice on now brown rice on in my rice cooker I did that I'm doing that ahead of time because obviously I want to make sure that that's cooked I may or may not use it with my um, curry but it's there if I need to use it and if I don't use it I'll do it I'll use it for stir fry Sorry headphone users, I know how loud that sounds.
And I haven't forgotten about the World War II recipes. More of them will be coming. I'm just trying to mix things so you don't get bored of one, one thing. And I'm also thinking about making desserts from scratch. And I know the first dessert I'd like to make, I just have to get the um, the dish that I need for it. Because I need a flan dish. I also need it small enough to fit into my air fryer. Now as you can see they're taking on some nice colour there. Let's give them a few more minutes. So, yep. Yeah, I think we've done. We're, we're, we can add the next things now. So I'm going to put the ginger in. and the garlic I'm just going to give them a few seconds now the next thing we're going to do is add our tomatoes now it's 200 grams, so that's roughly half a tin. Our tomato puree is next. And the next thing is the spice and Thai seasoning packet. Oh, but geez, that looks red. With our sugar. Our salt, which is one te teaspoon of each. And our lemon juice. And then we're going to give that all a nice mix. We're going to stir our chicken in and we're going to lower the heat. And we're going to put the lid on that and then we're going to cook it for five minutes. Okay, that's at five minutes. So the next stage we're going to do is put in 200 millilitres of boiling water. And then all we're going to do is let that cook for another... 15 minutes so when all this is done and plated up I'll bring you back <laughs> 